conservative Republicans and liberal Democrats, they don't agree on anything, nothing gets done, right? Wrong. For most of the 20th century, there was actually such a thing as liberal Republicans and conservative Democrats. I mean, can you imagine? It must have been like bizarro world. Me, liberal Republican, me support labor unions and wear shoe on head. Me, conservative Democrat, me oppose civil rights and me pee out butt. <laughs> Now, yes, these two usually still voted with their parties, but when something really needed to get done, the conservative Democrats could team up with the conservative Republicans, or vice versa, and make it happen. Me think government should not shut down. Oh, me agree. Functional government am important. Oh, good night. It's morning. Meow. I'm a dog. <laughs> Comedy is very stupid, isn't it? <laughs> Now, during the period when the parties worked this way, America had our best century ever. We went to the moon, we extended the vote to women and minorities, and we won three major wars, two hot, one cold. <laughs> oh, just like the food they serve in the cafeteria where Ted Cruz eats alone. <laughs> so, what changed? Well, a big piece of the puzzle is our old friend, LBJ. Seriously, you guys aren't even going to be able to say his name the old way. <laughs> After this, the emphasis is on the B for you. So, the night he passed his civil rights bill, LBJ turned to his assistant and reportedly said, I think we just delivered the South to the Republican Party for a long time to come. And he was right. There are a lot of reasons partisan polarization increased in the second half of the 20th century, but the Civil Rights Act was pivotal in accelerating this trend. The Republican Party became more and more conservative, and the Democratic Party became more and more liberal.